Hello, and welcome to the latest instalment of Baxicam. That's a good catch, wasn't it? Now, Anthony Buckley's been in touch and he's left a comment on one of our YouTube videos and he wants to know how you check the voltage to a Hall effect sensor on a Duotech or a Platinum. So enough talking, let's get some gloves on and get cracking. Okay then Anthony, we'll make a start mate. So the Hall effect sensor on the Duotech and the Platinum is used for hot water detection. And there it is, sat right there on top of the hydraulic inlet assembly. And it's the clear plastic one with the red, white and the blue wires going to it. Some people call it a bobbin and some people call it a float switch. Because quite simply, there's just a magnet inside the hydraulic inlet assembly. And as soon as the customer or yourself runs the hot tap, the magnet jumps up inside the magnetic field on the hall effect and the boiler recognises the demand. So I've uh, got to be quite honest, Anthony, and don't laugh at this, mate, but the easiest way of checking the hall effect sensor on a Duotech or a Platinum is quite simply uh, with a magnet. So if we look there, so hopefully you'll be able to see uh, that little black square, that's your hall effect there. So as soon as you place a magnet next to that, your red light should come on on your hall effect sensor. The boiler recognises the demand and it will fire up. So grab yourself a magnet, place it next to the little black chip there, and there you go, red light on, drop the magnet away, Red light off. So as far as the boiler is concerned, hot water on, hot water off. So that is the easiest way of checking them. But going back to your original question, mate, can you check the voltage on them? Yes, you can. Um, and the way you do it, you need to access the circuit board. So you've got to be quite careful because obviously everything's all turned on. We already know the wires are red, white, and blue. And looking at the thickness of them as well, you know, you're looking at a, a low voltage there. So around about seven volts DC. Okay, so you kind of follow it all the way back. And what you will find is the Hall effect sensor lives on X400. We're not bothered about the first two blue wires because those two blue wires there are for the low water pressure switch. Okay, so we're looking at the red, the, uh, the blue next to that and the, and the white towards the end there. Okay, but keep it really simple, mate. The way I used to remember it is running water, R and W. So red and white. So when I'm running water, I should have voltage between the red and the white wires. So if I grab my multimeter, and I've already got him set on the DC scale. So if you remember from the video I did a few weeks ago, um, DC, it's flat and it's smooth, okay? It's direct. So um, what we want to do, and you know, what you don't want to do, mate, is dive on top of the plug, because depending on what probes you're using, you might do more harm than good, to be honest. So if you drop down, if you can, uh, and then get onto the metal tabs on the side there, so if I go between red and white, you'll see I have no voltage at all because I'm not running any water. So now if I open the tap, the red light will come on on the hall effect there and we should have, there you go, seven and a half volts DC. Okay, the boiler's about to fire up. Now if we turn the tap off, the voltage will go. So the magnets drop back down, the red light's gone off. Turn the tap on, red light on, voltage back. So that is basically you just looking at the magnet dropping and jumping back off. Okay, mate. So I hope that answers your question all right for you, Anthony. Guys and girls, hope you're all staying safe and your families are doing well. Until next time, take care.